Hey everybody, um, what's going on out there? They sprayed us like hell yesterday. It was cloudy, or it was a clear sky, and they sprayed us like hell. Now we got rainy, We're going to have snow, supposedly some blizzard coming through here now. But hell, I like the snow. I like to drive through it. But uh, people. Every species of animal on this earth was giving, given uh, built into their DNA or whatever it is, uh, programming or whatever. Uh, but it was all built in. You know, certain things were built in. Instincts. Um, you know, certain things were built in for a reason, and the majority of that reason is survival. Now. I mean, there's, it's like, uh, you know, like a, a baby or a female bear will protect their young. You know, it's just built in. They're going to do that. Uh, if they fall in the water, they know they can't breathe underwater. They're fighting to keep their head above water just like we do. It's all built in, folks. Uh, just like a baby deer or a horse, when it's born, it can stand up and walk immediately. That's built in. That's all built into them. God put it there. Well, God also gave man, humans, instincts. Some of you call it a gut feeling or... Uh, what are some of the other things they call it? Uh, deja vu or whatever. Uh, but it, some you were when you were born, you had these instincts that were programmed into your DNA, just like uh, you know animals have certain ones. Well, you have certain ones too. Um, the ability to be able to speak uh, is one of them that we have over all the other species. Um, critical thinking is another logical thinking. Uh, you know, when you can walk in somewhere and you, you get a bad feeling something's going to happen, you just get out of there. You know, um, these are all instincts. Uh, you, you might smell something that might make you feel a certain way or you might see something or touch something or or whatever, but these are all instincts that you're either taught or you were born with. And for some reason, it seems like to me, they've removed all your guys' instincts. All of them. Because everything that's going on around me today says not, it spells out nothing but bad. Nothing but bad. In any which way you take it, it's not going to be good. And all of my senses are telling me that. All of my senses. These people in Washington, D.C. are fixing to bring in the biggest, as far as I am in my lifetime, the biggest chunk of the military that's ever been brought into D.C., and they have said it's going to be more people than what was in Baghdad when they went into Baghdad. Now, Baghdad and stuff, when they went in there, they were fighting tanks and whoever had machine guns, whatever. They were fighting that going in. They didn't have to fight that moving these 20,000, 30,000 men right into Washington, D.C. because they're Americans. These soldiers are Americans. Huh. Seem like to me. Unless I'm mistaken. Somewhere in the Constitution. It said they were never allowed. The federal government or any other government was never This government was not allowed to have a freestanding army inside the uh, United States. Especially pointing their guns towards the American citizen. That's right, folks. Just another step they're doing to prove to me 
that the Constitution is not in play. There's so many things. If anybody thinks the Constitution is in play, you need to just go down, ask to see if they can put you on some kind of a pill because you're almost sedated anyway. You're not paying attention. So you might as well just go ahead and go get that pit, the rest of it. Go ahead and get sedated and get in your rubber room because you're not, you're not paying attention anyway. But, uh, 20, 20 to 30,000 military soldiers armed with M16s and who knows what else sitting in Washington, D.C. because they say uh, what I can only say a handful to. Uh, I mean, the amount of people that went into the state building, uh, it would be a handful compared to what they're bringing in now. So a handful of people uh, the cops let into the state building. There's videos of it. They opened the gates up and let them in. They let them in the damn building too, inside the building. But this handful of people did this, and now they're using the word domestic violence. This was domestic violence. I would say domestic violence is something that you could call people who have stolen every speck of gold the American people had, the people who have stole the silver that the American people had, the people who have stolen our government, the, uh, the people that pass these laws that takes our rights away and gives them king-like or god-like powers over us, all these people, they are nothing more than uh, the devil's herd, and they are put there. See, I, I've done lost my direction on this video. So much stuff running through my mind, folks. Let me see if I can figure out where I was. Uh, but this, it, it, let me just backtrack this. 20,000 or 20 to 30,000 uh, soldiers in D.C., which ain't supposed to be there. Oh, that's what it was. They were, uh, you know, they're calling domestic violence what these guys did when they've stolen everything we've got. They've stolen our rights to even own land from us and say they represent us. Like we would want them to do that to us. Like, they, we would want them to take all of our rights of owning any land in this country away from us just because we need them to have that kind of control. And they're supposed to be our representatives. But that's not domestic violence. No, huh? that's not it's stealing everything we got. That's not domestic violence. Uh, having their uh, these out-of-control police departments and sheriff's departments been shooting, killing, stabbing, beating, choking uh, running over whatever it took to kill other people. That's not do domestic violence. That's them doing their jobs. Um, the governor locking down the whole damn state, telling people they got to shut down their businesses, telling people they have to wear a mask over their nose and mouth telling people that if they don't force this on the people that's going in and out of their businesses, they won't be open. And none of that's domestic violence, is it, people? No, that's not. Uh -uh, that's good stuff. That's what we Americans want. And that's why our representatives gives it to us. They give us what we want. Come on, people. They already moved, they moved, they're moving 20 to 30,000 American soldiers to protect Washington, D.C. from a handful of damn, uh, they call them conservatives. I call them crisis actors because that's all they were. Oh, they're setting y'all up too. All you conservatives, all you Trump backers, oh, they're setting you up good, buddy. They're telling it all over CNN. You guys are going to attack every city capital in every state on a certain date. They blasting it like you guys wrote them a book on what you was going to do. 
Now you're getting ready to be set up for a bunch of damn killings and a bunch of stuff that's getting, and they're going to be behind it all. It doesn't matter if you guys even show up to any one of these cities. They're going to have people show up and burn them, and they're going to blame it on Trump backers. Watch and see. Just watch and see. Then what are you going to do? That or they'll get these stupid Trump backers down there and then they'll have somebody set the damn place on fire or blow some holes in it or blow it up or something. And they'll blame it on those protesters. Do you guys not see this coming? You guys always walk right dead in. You, they could have signs up, say, trap, pointing this way. Trap, 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 trap. And you guys would walk right into it. You'd walk right into it and give them everything they wanted. Because that's what they're doing. They're setting you up. They're setting you up for the kill shot. These people want to call that crap violence. No, the Civil War was violence. And that's what they want. They don't want a civil war between the North and the South. They want a civil war between the Republicans and the Democrats. And seeing how I don't have a dog in either one of them fights, you guys fight it out. I'm going to be sitting over here on the sideline. Don't bring me in on it. Don't bring me in on your fight. Because you're not going to like what I'm going to do to both sides. Now, I'm going to sit over here on the outside looking in. And I'll even move a little bit if I need to get out of your guys' way. No problem. If I see you coming, I'll back up a little bit, give you plenty of room for you guys to fight it out. But don't bring it to my door. That's not my government. Biden ain't going to be my president anymore, and Trump was my president. I'm done with it all, people. This two-party paradigm, you can have it. You see where it's gotten you. This great democracy known as the United States of America Incorporated. That's your democracy right there. And if you don't believe it, shut your eyes and go back to sleep. Because it's the truth. The United States of America Incorporated and the world's greatest democracy. That's your reality. And ain't none of that, none of, no part of that says anything good for you. Only for the elitist. So, people, may God bless us all. That's the only way we're going to get out of this. And always remember, God loves you and so do I.